Hi guys, it's Chidera. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm talking all things beauty. I'm going to be sharing my favorite beauty must-haves from Sephora. These are items that if there were ever a scenario where I was stuck on a deserted island, I would have to bring these items with me. So without further ado guys, let's get right into the video. I have my Sephora bag with me. Some of these items are new and some of these items um, are items that I have purchased over time. Um, and what I mean by new is just new to replenish my current one when it runs out. Not new in the sense that I'm just using this for the first time. Okay? Otherwise it wouldn't be in this video. Okay, um, we'll start with face products. The first item that is on my list is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Water Cream. I abs I don't even know where to start. I absolutely love this cream. This is basically a face moisturizer. It's a gel cream moisturizer. And this is um, something that caters to normal to oily skin. I feel like it caters to all skin types, but because it's very lightweight I don't think this would be the best for dry skin I absolutely love how this moisturizer just smooths my skin and most importantly it gives it this rich glow that I appreciate so much so this is definitely definitely going to be repurchased in the future because I just love it and I feel like in summertime too this would be very much um, ideal given that it's a lightweight moisturizer but still hydrates and plumps the skin so number one on my list charlotte she's pricey charlotte is pricey this is a 200 dollars cream <sighs> it, it why why like it's why is somebody going to eat my face but yeah she's a pricey one but it's maybe for 200 dollars that's a bit much but it's also I see the magic you know what I mean it's not magic but I also see the magic water cream I see the magic in it but it's really like it doesn't have to be $200 like Charlotte come on but this is definitely number one on my favorites list number two is the Polish Choice 2% BHG Exfoliant this is my holy grail toner exfoliant i use it as a toner it doesn't affect my skin negatively i know some people are a bit iffy because it has bha which is essentially salicylic acid um, an ingredient that works to kind of clean out your pores it works on the inside of your skin rather than the surface level um so i know there's some concerns or when i read some reviews about this it was more like uh you know is it good enough that you can use for every day i personally use this every day i have reduced the amount of times i use it so like i'll use it every day but i'll use it only in the morning or sometimes only at night and kind of rotate like that but my skin hasn't had any negative reactions to it i personally love how this um smooths my skin evens up my skin tone and just creates like a nice soft base for the rest of my skincare it's just i every time i on the days where i don't use this i can just feel my skin crying out it's not dependent or anything but i can i can okay maybe i shouldn't see my skin is crying out i can feel the difference and see the difference on days where i don't this i just really like that it smooths up my skin my skin feels soft my products go on smoother and overall it just really helps to even out skin tone and clear up dark spots from breakouts and things like that so this is the, i can't speak this is definitely coming in hot on number two um on my must-haves okay next is the sephora collection vitamin c and serum this one i was gifted i started using this for a while because i am very in love with glowy skin i like a good glowy skin i like a nice like radiant complexion i mean who doesn't to be honest maybe people with oily skin will beg to differ but i personally just love having that glass glowy looking skin and anything vitamin c essentially works to brighten up your skin and tighten it make it look firmer and you know create like a radiant finish or glowy complexion in your skin and i personally love that so when i initially got this i was like okay i'll try out vitamin c and e um serum you 
and why not and I stopped using it for a bit because I had to try out other skincare I think I'm in the process of experimenting with skincare um, actually no that was late last year I was in the process of experimenting with skincare I feel like now I'm more trying to find a strict routine for my skin and stick to it so I stopped using this for a while and then I circled back to it because I um, overheard someone say that it's good in clearing up dark spots. I don't have a lot of dark spots, however, there are certain days or times in the month where I break out, and the aftermath of that is um, dark spots on my skin. Some clear, you know, quickly. I like to let things just go on its own. However, there are some stubborn dark spots that just refuse to go as quick as I want it to go. Um, so I, I overheard that this is good for clearing up dark spots and I kid you not, there was a dark spot, I have makeup on right now, but there was a dark spot like around this area of my skin and I think two days after using this or three, it started to clear up. Now I don't know if that's because it had stayed on long enough that it was going to clear up anyway that week, but I kid you not, when I used this, like for two, three days, I started to see it just like clear up slowly. So I'm gonna I'm gonna blame it on this because that dark spot stayed for a while. Oh, it actually didn't stay for a while, but it was on there and it was bugging me. And I was like, okay, I, I need to clear this up, and I don't want to use too many products. So I was like, okay, I'll try this again, um, specifically to target that. And believe it or not, it actually worked on my skin. Just saying. Okay, the last item in my must-haves for face products. Can you guys guess what it is? This one is a popular one, especially at Sephora. It gets sold out all the time can you guys guess before i bring it out it is the summer fridays water ball as you can see i have i have how do i even hold this i have i have three i have literally i have three um sheets flavors colors i don't even know what to call it um in this the reason i have these three is because i got this as a set um, I really wanted to try the cherry. Actually, no, the cherry was already out. I knew how this looked. I really wanted to try the iced coffee, and um, it only came in a set. They didn't sell this one individually, and I don't know that they would ever sell it individually. I don't know. I haven't checked the website. I just bought it from Sephora, but they didn't sell this individually at Sephora. So I was like, okay, I'll get the set. I like like this is my classic lip balm. I'm almost. This is actually even. You know, I haven't opened this one. But this is my classic lip balm. Oh, you're not gonna see that. This is my classic lip balm. I haven't used this one just yet. Um, my other one has lasted me. I think I've gotten. I've had it for over four months, and it's still going. Like it's still going. Even when I think, oh, this is almost finished, blah blah blah. Like, it's still going. The fact that I haven't even opened this one. But. Um, but yeah, the Summer Fridays Butter Balm is my ultimate like lip moisturizer, hydrating treatment for my lips, just all in all. And it has a nice glossy finish to it that I also wear it as the gloss. This is my all-time favorite, the vanilla one. I use this on a daily basis. If I want something more tinted, I'll go in for the cherry. On my lips, it looks, it gives very much the Fenty gloss balm in fruit snacks, but this is like the milder version. This is like the more natural looking version, if that makes sense. Like the Fenty gloss balm in fruit snacks is more pigmented, whereas like this is more like a natural lip color, but with more, um, what's the word i'm looking for like a natural lip color but like intensified if that makes sense like with this one i feel like once you put it on it just looks like you've glossed up your natural lips that are pink if that makes sense but yeah i like this one for some color um i'll alternate between this and the fenty gloss form and then i like this one for every day as well but like something a little bit more fun and different because this is more like a clear one whereas like with these ones they are more colored and it smells exactly like iced coffee. Oh my god! It's a, I forgot about that smell like. It smells exactly like iced coffee. I'm so obsessed. Let me see if this one smells like cherry. I actually haven't smelled it. Oh yeah, that definitely smells like cherry. But no, this is definitely my holy grail. This actually is the... This is my fighter. This is my ultimate all-time fighter. Um, but I definitely love these three flavors the most with the summer Fridays. 
All right, moving on to body products now. This item I'm about to show you is a little bit on the newer side. I literally just purchased this. However, I have used it quite a few times. So I've tried on the tester. I've given a few, you know, um, days to sit on my skin, kind of see what the um, end result is like, if it's something that really works well effectively for my skin, instead of just purchasing it based on hype. And that is the Sol de Janeiro uh, Delicia Trench Body Butter. Now, I'm such a vanilla girly when it comes to scents. I feel like my body chemistry just agrees to it. So when I saw that Sol was launching this, um, collection i was very excited and i'm like okay i'm going to purchase this especially when i saw the notes so it has notes of vanilla orchid i believe and something else where do i find it actually i'll probably find it on the sephora app but it for sure has notes of vanilla orchid sandalwood as well and these are these are notes that i find common in most of the perfumes and mists that i purchase so i feel like in terms of layering i also have a lot that can go with this body butter and i would just smell like a snack which i'm like i don't mind smelling like a snack on a daily basis like heck yes so this is literally me just taking it out of the package again i have used this so i know that it is hydrating but you guys are getting first tips okay you guys, you, you you saw it here first so this is kind of what it looks like Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. It smells and it just looks like ice cream. Oh my god, I want to try it. I want to try it. Sorry, I'm getting too excited in this video. <laughs> In the winter time, it gets drier outside, and I find that having a body butter because there's a difference. Okay, there's a difference between a body cream and a body butter. I find that having a body butter in the summer time, in the winter time, is more effective because it hydrates my skin and locks in moisture. Whereas, like with the cream, it's more lightweight. That one is more for the summer time because it's not as intense. So I actually currently just ran out of my body butter. Oh my god, that blended in like ice cream. You guys, that blended in just like ice cream. It's amazing. Um, so I use this uh, body butter more for the summer, for the winter time. Oh my goodness! Can you tell I'm waiting for summer to come? In the winter time, and you know, it really works well to hydrate my skin. And with the sky, I really wanted to try it out because I'm like, I don't want something that's lightweight or that you know won't really go in there and hydrate. And I also don't want something that's particularly too oily. I feel like we should leave the oils for summer. But this guy, oh my goodness, it smells so good. It smells so good. It goes from smelling like vanilla to smelling like a little bit of baby powder. And then when it settles, you have like a lot of that like tiny bit of muskiness to it. And that sandalwood is coming out as well. But I really, really like this and I cannot wait to use it on my body tomorrow. Okay, last but not the least, I have to talk about some hair products. Now, me and my hair journey, I don't even want to speak about it because that's another video in itself. But I have four um, C type hair and it is, in my opinion, a very challenging hair type to deal with. I have contemplated relaxing my hair again for like the 15th time um, but I'm trying to hang in there. I'm actually trying to take care of my hair and not be lazy with it as I have braids in them and not be lazy with it and just make sure that I'm giving it the actual ingredients that it needs to thrive. Now the first um, thing in your hair care routine has to be getting a good shampoo and conditioner and for me I just wanted something that will would go in and treat whatever concerns I was having with my hair and just like just make it healthy like make it healthy so that it grows well so that it takes in protective styles well um, so that I don't lose hair I'm actually growing hair and just all of the good things for my hair honestly like I it's it's a lot it's challenging for my hair but I really want to make sure especially moving into the new year um, just keeping 
being consistent really with taking care of my hair more. It's a struggle, like I said, but I will get there. Um, so one particular brand that I got drawn to, so typically for shampoo and conditioner, I would just go to the drugstore and pick up anything. If I saw that it had ingredients like avocado, tea tree oil, I'm like, okay, yes, these are good for the scalp. But when this brand launched in Sephora, I was like, okay, this is something that actually caters to African hair types. So I'm I'm intrigued. Like, see more. I want to hear it. So I got the Melanin African Black Soap Shampoo and I got the Melanin Conditioner to go with it because in my hair care routine or hair wash routine, I do a shampoo and a conditioner. So yeah, this is something I have used this. I mean, clearly, as you can see, um, I've used quite a bit of this and it actually really works because sometimes my scalp just gets dry and flaky and itchy actually more itchy than dry if anything and I just need something that will go in there and fix whatever is causing that itchiness and I think the tea tree oil in this helps to soothe my scalp and actually um, calm the itching down a little bit because in the times that I've used this my scalp hasn't been itchy during the week so i want to say that i've seen some results with this um i like how it feels i'm going with the melanin conditioner afterwards to just kind of aid that uh, purification that's happening but yeah i really really like these two together i like these two i'm, I'm kind of intrigued i think i'm going to definitely um and just to have them as my essentials and we have come to the end of this video thank you guys so much for sticking with me and thank you for watching i hope you really enjoyed this video until next time my loves bye